Yeah, everyone's really excited. Uh, our last chance to get out at Twickenham before we head off to France. So, um, yeah, we can't wait to, to get out there and, and face a, a tough Fiji side. I think with Fiji, you, you always expect a, a physical challenge. Uh, they're big, strong men. So we know that physically we've got to be at it. Um, and then also we know that they're going to throw some stuff us, at us in attack. Um, they like shifting the ball to space. They like getting offloads away. So, yeah, we're going to have to be on our metal and defence as well. I think, yeah, obviously an incredible achievement. Um, he's been he's been a great player over the years and that's obviously a testament to getting 100 caps for England. Um, he's battled his way through plenty of injuries for, so for him to reach this milestone. Um, we we're, we're obviously can't wait to run out there with him um, and want to make it a special day for him and his family. Uh, well, I think it's obviously a setback in a way. You've, we've what, got two two big and key players uh, missing for at least the first game and maybe second game as well. So um, it's certainly a setback, but we're, we're not looking at it in that way. Uh, it only gives an opportunity for another person. Uh, but I believe all this off-field stuff has, has brought us closer together as a group. Um, so, yeah, we're tightening up and we're not focusing on the things off the field. We're focusing on the things on the field and, and how to improve them. Um, yeah, I'm really confident. I, we, I've been part and seen the work that we're, we're doing on the training field. Um, we're not, not far away at all. Um, so we've been working on things. It's obviously our last chance to get out there and, and put a performance before we head off to France. So that's our next focus. And then after that, I'll focus and shift towards that World Cup. Yeah, we're we're all really looking forward to it. It's been, um, you know, a strange prep for us this week in terms of some of the obstacles we faced as a group. But the team are ready to go, and uh, we look forward to playing against a very strong Fiji team. Well, he's, he's just had an immense playing career. Um, he deserves every accolade he gets. Um, as a player on the field, he's been outstanding, and then as a captain, a leader, a guy within the group. Um, yeah, he's been a, an exemplary figure for us, great leader. And then as a bloke off the field, um, got some really good values, big family man. And, um, yeah, looking forward to sharing in what should be a special day for him tomorrow. Fiji, obviously a strong team. They're off the back of some good results against some, uh, Tonga, Japan. Um, what are you expecting from them tomorrow? Um, a, a physical game. Um, they're very powerful and um, they're a strong nation and they've got a great pedigree and history in, in playing rugby and, and running rugby so we expect to face some things tomorrow that we probably haven't done over the last couple of weeks. Um, it'd be a real challenge for us but a good one, we're looking forward to it. I think every team wants to be more disciplined and better disciplined than they are. Um, I think it's a challenge for all teams. Certainly the reds and the yellows haven't helped us. Um, there's some of the obstacles we've had to contend with, but we continue to try and be better every day and that's certainly an area where we hope to improve. And uh, just last question, so looking forward to the World Cup, um, how far do you think this team can go? Oh, you, you, you tell me. Everybody's telling me outside uh, yeah. we're not going to go that far, but we, uh, we've got a steely belief about us. Um, we know we've got to improve. We know at the minute we're, we're, we've got plenty to do. Um, and we'll continue to work as, as hard as we can. We look forward to tomorrow. I think what's important for us is, you know, not to look too far ahead. We've got to get tomorrow right first, and then pick the bones out of it and um, continue to move forward.